This is a little bit faster, okay? And then we can do a lot of, of throwing around and This looks professional. Yeah. <laughs> we should definitely pay for this one. Maybe we should. <laughs> yeah, they have they have fun in quarantine. Yeah. I'm gonna ask if they go to school for this or not. Yeah, these people don't need to go out. They have fun at home very, very well. Oh, something we really need to learn during COVID lockdown. Mike and I, we will learn this. Very good. <laughs> hey! <laughs> This is getting sexy. Should we leave them alone? <laughs> <laughs> we, we should uh, cover our eyes. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. So let's start from the story of my life, but just a few years ago. I'm Italian, I'm from uh, Naples, I'm a Neapolitan actually, so I come from the Mediterranean Sea, so from the south of Europe. And uh, before then uh, going abroad, I thought that I was a very clean person, I was taking a lot of showers, I was cleaning myself. In uh, Naples we even uh, are proud that we invented that thing that we call bidet, looks like a toilet, but you use it for washing yourself, and we invented it for French people. So. Please guys, during all this test, don't feel offended if you belong to a population that don't use to take a shower so often. I'm referring to French people, yes, I do. No, I'm joking. So basically what happened? From Naples, I left and I went living in Greece. And I realized that in Greece, people were taking a shower more often than me. So I was like, wait, I, I consider myself as a clean person, but as we have this thing, this bidet, we, when we feel that we need to clean our parts, we use it. So we take some showers, but we also use that thing very often. In Greece, they don't have it. So they basically are taking more showers. This is necessary. Then from Greece, I moved to Spain, where I lived in Sevilla for about uh, a couple of years, pretty much. And in Sevilla, you know, all the south of Spain was conquered by Moorish, by Arabs. Let's say more Moorish, actually, is more appropriate. So from... Uh, Morocco, Tunisia, that region, and they stayed there for 700 years. Well, if there is one thing that North Africans likes to do, and I would say all Africans, but we're talking right now about North Africans, it's cleaning themselves, taking showers, okay? So these people are taking showers about five times a day. They're not taking shower five times a day, they're cleaning themselves five times a day because they pray five times a day right now. And so basically every time you enter a mosque, you need to clean yourself. And this is something very, very good. It's not an exaggeration. If you consider that during the Prague of the Black Beast in the uh, south of Spain, Arabs were surviving and Christians were not. So uh -huh. why? Yeah. Grigory I, which was a pope in the sixth century pretty much. So imagine the end of the Roman Empire and a couple of 200 years ago, let's say a couple of hundred years ago, decides with a, a specific, uh, let's say, uh, law, okay, to tell to all the Christian population that they must have a shower not more often than once per year. What? Having a shower was considered as a <laughs> masturbation, as a touching your most sensitive points. So wow. if you were a good Christian, you were not supposed to wash yourself that much, to clean yourself that much, okay? And now we are getting already 
to what we want to talk about today. So Minji, if you uh, can, please, we got to start with the first question. Okay. Uh, I am going uh, to launch the first question. Please. Okay. So today, you see, guys, we don't have a slides today, but we use pools. This is more interactive. I like it more. So the first thing that I want to ask to you is, who were the first in history to take a bath or to have a shower, let's say? You can all type the answer. You can all answer and, okay. uh, and submit it. And then we are going to see which one. Yeah, the numbers are moving, okay, and uh, it's still moving, people are still typing, and I'm going to have Take a right. rough answer right. very soon. Who we voted? Oh, okay. The, the answer is, so everybody done your, your, your poll? Uh, I guess that once everybody is done, you can even share the result. I don't know. Sure. Try. So, Egypt, okay, we got a little bit, uh, a few more people coming, uh, six people bought it. And, Take your time. Uh, we are 20. We are 20 in total. So Yeah. Oh, okay. About more than half of us believe it was Egyptians. Hmm. Egyptians who took the first shower. Uh, Greek ranked second. Uh, okay. 8% of us voted Greeks. Uh, Mongols, uh, the Mongols uh, came the third. 20% of us yeah. believe it was Mongo, Mongo, Mongos who showered okay, first. Mongo. Okay, okay, okay. So guys, you were right. Basically, the first, as we know, as we know today, the first that we're having, a, taking a bath or having a shower or whatever it is, it is ah, perfect, beautiful. 56% said Egyptians. So yes, actually the Egyptians were the ones, the first one that we know according to history, right? Because if we we're doing more research, we could probably discover other population before. But we have the first document of someone having a bath or taking a shower or building a bathroom or something like that, 3000 years ago at least, and this was in Egypt, okay? So Egyptians were the ones that were starting washing themselves. They thought that washing themselves was also part of a ritual. Washing your body, it means also washing your soul. And this actually was helping them against many, many, many epidemics and many, many, many frogs and everything you can imagine. So now we got to the second question. Please, uh, Minji. Second question, it's a little more a bit personal, but uh, let's see. We want to know about you. <laughs> we want to yeah. know about you. Please, don't be shy, okay? Be honest. No one knows who's the one that is answer, but I actually want to know when did you take your shower? So, A, if it was today, and in my case it wasn't because it's 10 a.m. So for me it was yesterday, and I have to say that it's still okay if it was yesterday, as long as you take another one today. And guys, be honest if it was a week ago, be honest. We're not gonna judge you. Actually, yes, I'm gonna judge you, but just be honest, okay? So, when was your last shower, please? Juliana, we got some interesting answer here. I am going to share the results. I want to know. Okay, so the 13% of us, it's extremely dirty. Okay, so you should very, 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 you should, after this quiz, the quiz is going to end in 20 minutes, go and take a shower. Okay, this is something that you must do. The 38% of us, I can justify you if it's early in the morning, but if it's late afternoon or night, you have to take a shower, okay? And- uh, Giuliano, can I interrupt? Absolutely. I'm very, very curious about uh, people who showered a week ago. I would actually, <laughs> if they don't mind, I would like to know why. Uh, so is it okay to ask people like if you took a shower, if you don't mind, a week ago, what was the reason? Was it religion? Was it because COVID-19? COVID there is no religion today, Minji, that tells you to have a shower once a week. It exists no religion in the world, in this planet, that tells you that. So uh, I don't know. I don't know, if, I don't know if we should dig more. And I see. It, it was me. I was waiting for these lessons from you. <laughs> 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 oh, Rupak, you were waiting for it, right? You were waiting for it. Okay, so this is very good, Rupak. Very, very good. I don't know if it's good or not. I like your attitude. This is the spirit, but I really wish you're going to have a shower later. So, basically, guys, what's the point? Half of us is taking a shower 
every day. And this is very good. This is very nice. Or at least this was the lucky day, it was today, because probably you are taking a shower every week, but today was the day. So we don't know, actually, that everyone is taking a shower every day. The point is that, as I told you before, uh, during Christianity in the Middle Age, having a shower was a bad thing, okay? So it was actually considered something very uh, intimate and something... Uh, that you were enjoying to do, right? So if you're a Christian, you're supposed to suffer and pain during uh, your life in this world because then you are gaining a paradise where you probably don't need to take a shower, okay? So this is the reason why I wanted to know how many of you were taking a shower and later I'm giving you more details about it because there is something very interesting and Sayuri knows what I'm talking about because this is a Bahia thing. It's something very specific of a state here in Brazil. When I met my wife uh, and well, when my wife brought me for the first time at the house of her parents, the first thing that they offered to me was to have a shower. <laughs> What did it indicate about you? <laughs> what, what I thought at the beginning was because I was smelling, but then I realized that every day I was going there, they were asking me to have a shower. So in Brazil, and we are getting pretty much to the idea, in Brazil, one of the kindest things that you can offer to someone is actually to use your place, your toilet, to having a shower. So this is actually something very wow. nice. And it's very happening, uh, I would say mostly from people from the Northeast, so people from the state of Sayuri, Bahia, but I would say that in general, it's something common in the entire country, okay? The most you go to the South, the most you go to the colder area, the less they take a shower, okay? But this is another story. Now, let's go to the third question. Here we go. Okay, so where do you prefer to shower? So the first is at your place. So at my place, it means at your place, okay? The second is at your place, which means at my place. And then you have to explain me why you would prefer to have a shower at my place and not at your place. And the third one is in a public place. So please be honest. <laughs> I don't know, no worries because Minge is not gonna ask you who's the one that is taking a shower at the public place, okay? So just be honest. So uh, I think people are being very polite and nice uh we got 13 people voted i'm waiting for a couple of more before we can share the results okay okay i'm gonna end the poll and share the result here we go okay so ah so the 88 percent of you is boring <laughs> i have to say this okay the 88 percent of you is ter ter it's very boring okay so the 88 percent of you is taking shower at their place okay fair it's fine but there is a six percent that is taking shower at my place and i didn't know about that so this is interesting i have to check and actually we got a 13 percent that is taking shower in public places so joanna says ah, joanna is too logic Okay, so you are too clever, John, over this. A public place can be a gym. This is right. You can take a shower at a public place. After you worked out, I used to have a crappy shower at home and prefer to take a shower after my daily swim session. This is a, a very, a very polite way to say that you like to take a shower at public places. Actually, there is a, the best public place to have a shower. Have you ever been to Turkey? Or have you ever been to Morocco? Uh, we've Do been you know to Morocco. Morocco? Have you been? We've been to Marrakesh. Mike and I. Been to, uh, ah, Marrakesh, uh, cool. I, also I, Turkey, Turkey, yes. Hammam. Oh, ah, Hammam. Exactly, exactly it is. So, have you ever been in an Hammam? Guys, the Hammam is a public place, but it's the best place for having a shower. Actually, when you go to Turkey in Istanbul, you pay a guy to beat you. It's basically <laughs> beating you. They say messaging, but it's not a message. They're actually beating you, okay? And you feel very well after that. Very, very well. You feel incredible. So I do prefer taking bath at public places. And I have to say also something. I'm from the ancient city of Pompeii that has more than 2,000 years. And uh, we have a huge construction in the ruins of Pompeii, which is called Palestra. It's, uh, if you translate in English, it's like a gym, but basically it was a place where people were going for exercising and things like that, but the entire population should go there for washing themselves. So in ancient civilization, like Greeks and uh, Romans, in this case of Pompeii, was uh, a matter of uh, uh, 
the government making you possible, accessible, cleaning yourself. So they were actually building public places for the old population taking a shower. This is very important because if you take a shower, you stay clean and you don't spread virus like coronavirus. Like this is basically the point of this. So let's go to the fourth question, Minji. Just, uh, uh, by the way, ah. Juliana, there are a couple of really interesting insights from our audience. I want to uh, know. So Joanna suggests us to make use of the free hot water and good pressure in the public gyms to take shower. And uh, Elena, actually, she lives in a town which is an old spa town and uh, with historic Turkish bath. Amazing, which is this town? What's Elena? the town, Elena? In, in Harrogate, there's a lot of old spa towns throughout uh, yeah. England ah. that, where you would go to take the waters, but it's been restored and it's beautiful. Amazing, amazing, very nice. Yes, and uh, so you really recommended it. This is something very interesting. I agree as well. So in Japan, the onsen, I loved it when we were in Japan. Uh, so Mili Chang, uh, do, can you tell us a little bit more about the onsen in Japan? How it works. Yeah, actually, so onsen is a hot spring spa, and all over Japan, we have a very lovely hot spring spa. And now I really miss yeah, onsen because of the COVID-19. It's quite difficult to go, but it's a huge, bus tub and also we have outside spa and relax and also it's including a nice restaurant or massage shop is it's like paradise for us for me yes yes i'm, oh. I'm sure it is i'm yes. sure it is and uh, sherry mm -hmm. and uh, mike they they came up with a uh, quite genius idea whenever it rains just go out and take a shower this is good, this is good. A rain shower is enjoyable. I was living for more than a month in a place here in Brazil that is called Boisucanga. And uh, it was raining for 30 days without stopping and it was by, by the beach. So basically I was there because I was looking for some summer but was raining the entire month. And so basically I was going to the beach and taking rain shower every day. That was the best to do. Uh, yeah, sorry, I interrupted. Uh, you ready to try oh. along to the next poll? Please, let's go. So, this is very, very interesting. Uh, I believe you all know the answer, but let's see. What is the end that you use to introduce yourself? So when you are shaking the end of someone in front of you, which one is the end that you are using? Oh, so, uh, so far, 100% people, so uh, rated right. Uh, but I'm waiting for a couple more people. I think it's supposed just to be give us a few seconds. Oh, wow, interesting. So far, still a hundred percent right. Uh, guys, if you want to vote, uh, take your vote. Um, you should never waste an opportunity to vote. Still a hundred percent, a hundred percent right. Let. I'm going to close the poll now and share the results. Okay, correct. So the 100% of you use the right end, and I'm very glad that you use the right end. But why it's so important for you to use the right end? Uh, you know that uh, there was a time during Christianity that we thought that the left end was the, la the end of the devil. Imagine that I write with the left end. This tells a lot of things about me, but it's not because of this that we use the right end. This is uh, another story. So uh, imagine yourself about a thousand years ago uh, or even more in Arabic countries. So in all the area of North Africa or Mediterranean Sea, uh, shaking hands. And basically guys, this is uh, very intimate, but this is the point of it. If you were going to the toilet a uh, thousand years ago, you had no toilet paper, okay? Toilet paper is uh, an invention that came just a few centuries ago, okay? So you were w cleaning yourself using your left hand, okay? So when you introduce yourself and you shake the hands of someone, as a sign of respect, you use your clean end and not your dirty end. This is the reason why everybody used the right end to shake hands of, uh, of the others, okay? So basically, it's a sign of respect that comes from Arabic culture, but at the end of the story, we all use, okay? So this is the reason. I'm very glad that you all use 100% the right end. 
So remember not to use the left hand. Okay. And now we go to the fifth. We got two more questions, right? Okay. So this is something that Sayuri knows. So Sayuri, you cannot answer. What about the others? What do you, do you know what is a cat bath? A cat bath? Yes. So obviously cat. it's a cat doing a bath, right? Are you sure about it? Are you sure about it? <laughs> I need to ask my cat. Actually, my cat, she never takes a bath. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're, giving, you're giving some clue. Uh, oh, I didn't know. Bath? I didn't know. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone answer it. There is no much to answer in this. You have no idea yeah. and neither. <laughs> so have, I know what, what is a cat bath. Who, who ooh, knows? Who knows? Ooh, ooh. It's just like, it's like a, like a, very, a, a bath where it, you just have maybe like a little piece of cloth and you just do like some cleaning, very superficial, but you don't really take a shower. It's just a very bad bath. Correct. I mean, not Correct. Very Correct. So this was the way that Christians were taking their daily bath when they were not allowed to shower not more than once a year. This is called, in Brazil, we call it cat baths, but I, I see Leonor that... In Spanish, you, we call it baño de gato. Baño de exactly. gato. <laughs> what did we say in Portuguese, Sayuri? Say it, say it, Sayuri. <laughs> De gato também. <laughs> Baño de gato is basically when you wash yourself like this because you don't take your time to having a proper shower. So this is supposed, it's a way to say that it's not a real bath, okay? You're just cleaning it with yourself on the top, but this is not sufficient, not at all, okay? So very, very well. I can see that all the uh, Latin side of America knows about this bad cat. So we use this to judge other people that don't show it like us. This is, has to be very important to say. Last question, number six, I guess is the last time. Okay, so you wanna know what happened here, guys? What happens in Brazil? How many times a week does a Brazilian shower? You can now. Okay, uh, so people are voting. So how many day, uh, times a week or a day? A, a week? A week, a week, let's say a week. Okay, oh. So I've got uh, two different answers. Two, uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna end my poll and share my res the hour is up. Hour is up. Thank you for all this respect, and this is actually true. We take about we. I say we because I'm Italian, but I live in Brazil, and my wife. Uh, basically forced me to taking all the showers that she does. So it's basically about an average of 12 times a week. This means that we get one, uh, more than one shower a day. Okay, this is basically what happened. Why all this and we get to Brazil? First of all, I have to say that Colombians, Mexicans and Australians are the second in the chart. Okay, so Brazilians are basically the population that take most showers in the world but after us if it's not the same basically let's say colombians are already there and mexicans are also there and australians okay and actually from Indo indonesia i read that we have pretty much the same average but why this happen why we are taking all this bad there is something in common between colombian population mexican population Indonesian population, Australian population, and Brazilian population. And this is something that even Jose said at the beginning. Yes, it is hot, hot. but this is not, the, it's not, the same, it's not enough. Please, Leonor. I think it's because due to the indigenous people here, they were very clean. They used to true. clean themselves and to- Absolutely, congratulations, Leonor. Real, a lot of water to clean. Exactly, exactly, this correct. Because so, when, the Spaniards, when the Spaniards came, they didn't, shower or anything but at all Indians, and portuguese yeah, they, neither. The indigenous, they were very clean and portuguese neither leonor portuguese neither yeah. so in brazil when all the europeans population came here 500 years ago they brought a lot of sickness they were wearing a lot of dirty clothes and indigenous dirty. were like oh yeah. these people are crazy they are wearing stuff that is dirty and they don't take a shower so basically if today we shower so much, and if this is something that we have in common with Colombians, that we have in common with Mexicans, that we have in common with Australians, and people from Indonesia also. I say people from Indonesia because I don't know how to say when someone is from Indonesia, but anyway. So <laughs> if 
<laughs> you know, so if we all take all these showers, it's basically because of our very important indigenous heritage. So they yeah. taught us how to take all these showers and we are very glad that we do it, okay? Now, guys, to conclude, uh, I would like to show you something. It's a very short video and uh, uh, Sayuri knows about it. I don't know about the rest. Probably you don't know this. You don't need to understand the lyrics. Okay, just remember that hence in Portuguese we say mo, okay, so this is the main lyric. And I believe that this is the best way to conclude this because this video, it's so diverse in terms of uh, ethnicities and in terms of social diversity that it's giving to us the best resume of Brazilian culture in one minute, okay? So this video was made in 1995 and was made to Teach. Let me let me find the video first of all. Was made to teach to kids how to wash their hands. So if you share your screen, just check yeah. the uh, optimized the video for video. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. I want to do it again. Yes. 